I want to talk to you today about uh, spring beaver trapping. As you can see, it looks pretty wintry out here today, or you'll see it in a second. But uh, I want to get people encouraged about spring beaver trapping. And what I found out is a lot of guys are asking, what is the hat or beaver? You know, when I was a kid, when I heard the word hat or beaver, I thought it was a fur on hat that they made hats out of. I did not know what a hat or beaver was. So I want to explain that a little bit today. Um, this is our facility. Maybe you can show them the facility a little bit here. Uh, this is, if you sold fur here, uh, you know the doorway. This is the entrance. Over there, what she's looking at right now, that's the special beaver room. That's where we work on the beavers. But everything else here is uh, where we do the processing of the furs and the wool here at our factory. So uh, this, is, this is our place here. Uh, we just had a couple inches of snow this morning. Going to get some more tonight. So we're talking about spring beaver trapping. Let's go inside and let's just talk about uh, the Hatter beaver, okay? Uh, this is the door, if you sold fur here, where you would go in. I'm gonna talk about Hatter beaver. People have a question, what is Hatter beaver? Uh, how are they used? What is the process? And I want you to understand that because people wonder why spring beaver can be used so readily and uh, why, why damages can be used and what part of the beaver is actually being used. So when a beaver uh, is made into a hatter, only the hair is used. The skin is not used. Normally when they make a, a hat, a pelt, they dress or they tan the hide and then the fur stays on the hide. But in the hatter beaver market, only the hair is used. And I'm gonna show you the two different types of hair that is used in the, uh, in the hatter beaver market. So, or the one that's you, or two, I'll, I'll explain that to you in a second. First of all, the beaver, uh, it, it can be, uh, it's, it's prof processed a little bit clean before it's made into a hat or beaver. We do the processing over there. That's our facility where we do all of our processing of the beaver. This is not from our processing factory, but I just use this beaver. It's a half dressed, it's a, it's a piece of garbage actually, but I just wanted to show you, you know, how the process works. So. When they, when they make a hat or beaver, there's two processes of taking off the skin or separating the hair. There's two different processes. One is to eat up the hide. That's the first one, to eat or to cut off the hide from the fur. The other one is to cut the fur away from the hide. So there's two, I've been in factories, actually the one that I saw is where they, the little knives chew up the hide and then the fur is separated. But there's also other factories where they make a real, close cut to the hide and they take away, they take away the fur. So I'm just doing this as an example, maybe you can come a little bit closer here. Um, this, this here is obviously, this is what is used for the beaver hatter market. Okay, this is a felt hat and this is what goes into a, a beaver hatter hat. So first of all, when they do this, they use the entire skin. I've just taken a little small strip off of this beaver here. This is, this is, they go in there and they separate, they do it very quickly, obviously, and they separate the fur from the hide. And so that's what I've just done there. And if you can see that, so you see the under wool here, okay? That's the, you could say the most precious part about for the hatter market. And then on top, you can see the, the guard hairs here. And that's what's not wanted in the beaver, beaver felt hat, like you see here. Okay, so what happens is there's a refining process of blowing around and sucking, a filtering process, you could say, but they call it refine, refining, and they make it more and more pure of just the belly fur. Because you can see the belly fur here is a lot finer than this here. So they want the, and what they do is through the refining process, they separate, they separate the guard hairs out. As you see, I'm kind of doing it manually here, but they do it with machines. So I'm making it finer and finer, okay? And obviously, when you, when, whenever you refine something, you're going to lose some of the real good stuff, but they do it with machines. So now what I've done is, now I have, you could say, some pretty good, pretty good uh, under wool of the beaver. So this is the only part that is really wanted or desired to make the felt, okay? So this is, this is what is used for the beaver hatter market. So then, if you ever hear of them mixing it with wool or wool felt, we also sell wool, and this is all, you know, goes into the processing. But this is wool, and this is short wool, and this is what they use for, for uh, making felt. So a, 
if you want to know about the diameter of the, the hair, the fiber, uh, the, finest, the finest wool goes down to maybe 17. That's the finest, and that's extremely expensive. But there's a good, there's a good amount of, on the clip, about 18 to 20 microns. That's also considered fine wool. So uh, wool can go down to 17. It's very rare. It's more something that's a little bit more prevalent. It's something at 18 microns. So beaver goes down to the 14 and under category. So you can see, uh, you know, it's 25% more fine than actually wool. And that's why uh, a beaver felt hat feels so like soft or different. So this wool, what has happened to the wool, just like, just like the uh, beaver fur, this, this has to be washed. And then, you know, the, the, the oils are taken out of it. And then, and then, if it's mixed with for a, like a cowboy hat or something, this wool is then mixed all together with this, with this beaver fur, with this beaver fur, it's mixed together and it all goes together. And then I'm obviously in a very large scale, it all goes together. So now this actually feels, a, because it has the beaver fur in it, it feels a lot softer than the wool actually is. And then there is a, a processing, there's a processing that's called a body making. They make big bodies of this. It, it's, it's a huge process. It's with uh, steam and maybe you can look it up online if you want to learn about it. But it's making a, a, a felt hat body. And then it goes on to a form. And maybe you've seen the wooden forms and they form the cowboy hat. Then they have to cut off the edges and all of that. But so what I wanted you to know is today is I'm just telling you, educating a little bit about the the beaver hatter market. So when we talk about a beaver hatter, it's not the whole skin is used like this with the, with the hide on. It's only, only the fur, only the, the beaver fur is taken away. And then also besides that, the guard hairs have to be taken away out of the beaver fur. So then only this is the little bit of the beaver fur that is used to make the felt in, in a hatter hat. So, I hope that gives you uh, a better understanding of the, of the Hatter market and why we say Hatter. Uh, the Hatter market was, uh, you could say, what settled, uh, you know, Lewis and Clark, what settled the United States. It was a motivation for these trappers for England to uh, get this felt back to England so they could make it into hats for, for the people in England. So, um, yeah, that's a little history there. But uh, just encourage people, uh, spring beaver are, are needed. Uh, that's where... The, that's what's driving the market right now is actually the hatter market. So uh, we can use as many uh, as we can get. You know, our routes are all posted uh, from New York all the way down to right near to the Florida line in Georgia, you know, all the way out west to, to Kansas. Uh, next week I go up to uh, South Dakota, actually. So uh, and we go all the way down to... Uh, uh, close to the Arkansas border, southern Missouri. Uh, uh, I'll be in Tennessee later. You know, we do the Carolinas, uh, everything in between Michigan, uh, Wisconsin. So uh, spring beavers, get them, bring them to the truck. The routes are posted. So uh, hopefully this helps you, gives you an idea of uh, what your beaver are going to be used for this year. Thank you.